I'm Karen Isert, and it's time for our Christy Clinic Medical Minute. I'm here with Dr. Robert Cusick, and you're with the Department of Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Correct. And so today we're talking about joint replacement. So what are the types of joint replacement, and when will we need them? Well, the joint replacements I do are primarily hip and knee replacements, and we have several types. One is a full joint replacement where we replace the entire joint, leaving nothing behind. But I do a lot of partial knee replacements and partial hip replacements where we can replace the damaged part of the joint, but leave as much of the native natural joint as we can. That oftentimes leads to a more natural feeling joint afterwards. And who are usually the candidates for joint replacements? Well, it doesn't go by age, which is one mistake people make is that they think you have to be 75 to have a joint replacement. It really goes by the level of disease. So someone who's 45 can have a horrible knee or hip and they can still be a candidate because most of these implants we use today don't wear out in 15 years. They last indefinitely when they're functioning well. And are there any other recommendations when it comes to joint replacement? Well, sure, we, we try to exhaust all conservative things before we have that talk, but once injections aren't working, therapy's not working, once other things aren't doing it and the patient's quality of life is suffering, then we start having to talk about having a joint replacement possibly. Doctor, is there anything else you want viewers to take away from our conversation today? I think the main thing is that uh, it's joint replacement is something that's applicable to a lot of people and you don't have to be a special age and you don't have to be of a certain level of activity in order to consider having something like that done. Thank you so much for your time. This has been our Christie Clinic Medical Minute.